Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another bowl of insane cereal that is Crusader Kings 2. Let us resume with our campaign to bring back Zoroastrianism into Persia. So, last episode we managed to take over the county of Khuzestan, and we are currently in the middle of fabricating some claims on Fars and the rest of the Serjani. And we also had the quest for immortality start last uh, last episode, but thankfully it failed. And I say thankfully because I don't really want my current character to be immortal because he's disfigured, he's a lunatic, and he has syphilis. Um, if he didn't have those traits, then yeah, certainly he'd be a great, um, great immortal character. But as it stands, not so much. And my current heir is Pujman. Kamranzade. I keep meaning to look up uh, the Kamranzade thing. I think it might be very similar to um, to uh, how the Norse do things. But speaking of the Norse, Scythiod is actually growing very slowly. Pomerania is still a giant mess. Bohemia is getting bigger. It's East Francia, France. And what, what is this? Cascogne? Okay. Cutids are having a giant revolt. Where are these guys come from? I, whoa. I think it used to be the Tulinids. They have just exploded into a million different pieces. I mean, it it is it's two pieces, but still, their land is quite fractured. I'm just hoping the Abbasids will also explode into a million different pieces because right now they they are very strong with twenty thousand troops. The Samanids are pretty strong too, but uh, yeah. Let's focus on uh, on what we have right now. So I'm thinking that my current character is probably not really long for this world. He is 71 years old and he's probably going to die, which means that my son will take over very shortly. Is she a child of a concubine? Yeah, she's a child of a concubine of Noor of the Wilds, attractively unless. I might have been too harsh to the courtiers of Mazandaran, but Grand Vizier, uh, my Grand Vizier has managed to calm them down and even like me more just by giving them a half day off. I shall reward him. My courtier has embraced a dangerous heresy. Uh, doesn't really matter. But whoa, revolt! How did this happen? Oh what? Oh shoot! I can't. Can I not start a war against you? Why not? Oh, I see. It's because we're technically already in a war against them. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not gonna imprison my concubine. I don't know what she did. I think she killed, killed some random courtier, but whatever. Hmm. My vassal has embraced a dangerous heresy. That would be stupid, stupid of you not to reconvert. Yeah, um... You're getting your city revoked. That's you. You're an idiot. You really are. You do know that I have this law in place, right? Moron. That's how we deal with heretics. Let's appoint a new commander. Why do I keep losing commanders? What's happening to them? Ungrateful bastards are just dying left and right. More technology. Fantastic. And my son has become a heretic. Convert, please. Otherwise, I'll be very angry. I can take something in culture. Um. Hmm. Let's go with tolerance, because I've always wanted to implement a full status of women into my into my uh, realm. See how that works out. Son, send you a gift. I'll get you to reconvert. Thank you. Wow. I didn't really need to send a gift, but I knew there would be a penalty to um, to our uh, relationship because I asked him to reconvert. I can actually start a war against the Simonids. Oh, it's to claim those things. No. More heresy. 
Don't be stupid. You're stupid. You saw what happened to your neighbor. Why would you think that you'd get out of this unscathed? You moron. <laughs> and people have attacked my mobot. Oh no, my son has, uh, has a case of the flu. And I just lost my doctor. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sure. So, let's see. Apparently, I can recruit someone who has 19 learning as my core physician. Let's see if I can do something better. You have sent messengers and scouts in, out in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a, a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring a Quacksalver. I hope that I do not have to wait long. As you lie sleeping in the courtyard, you are suddenly awakened by the sound of hooves. You see... You rise to see a man dismount and bow at you. He explains that he is a court physician of renowned skill that has left his home and traveled here from a faraway land only to serve you. You have made up your mind, though. Oh. Okay. Horse MD. Guess it's a reference to House MD, but because I'm a lunatic, I can. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's quite hilarious. Nope. Yep. Yeah, he's my court physician now. And my son is over the flu, which is good. I keep losing commanders. Sure. Come on, liege. Fight that damn rebellion. You jerk. And I lost my court chaplain. People are dropping like flies. There's no disease here, right? No. Good gravy. Let's actually, uh, let's get more taxes from my, my city folk. And so could you? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's just keep doing my primary holding. Let's go with barracks. Heavy troops are amazing. Being such an industrious ruler, you have not gone unnoticed by the population of Dehistan. By paying the county elders a personal visit, they would surely be inspired and the peasants would feel particularly appreciated. A small donation would also go a long way, of course. Sure. Increase the prosperity of Dehistan. I have a level 2 hospital. Come on, Liege. You're losing this. What? Uh, you got murdered by my daughter. I don't care. Well, I'm actually growing fairly old. Why would I shut the gates? Is there a disease? No. This isn't going as I had planned. I was hoping I could um, start 
start a war against uh, Sirjani. But what with them revolting, it's quite somewhat of a crimp. My wife Daria was captive by, captivated by the grace and strength of the hunting birds and begged me for a bird. Sure, I'll give you a falcon. Make you love me more. And I also have a lot of money, so... Plus, build up my barracks. I guess I should start building up keeps and whatnot too. You just give me more troops in general. He has a dull son and an inbred son. Oh, jeez. Five epidemics. Oh, smallpox is rearing its ugly head. And the Abbasids are having a revolt. This is lovely. This is fantastic. Not that they stand a chance at all. But if they could just... Just kill off the Abbasids at least a little bit. Daria is adamant. She tries to make me appoint one of her male friends who might mean more to her than I earlier suspected. Steward. No matter how well our st current steward, Vishtab, does his job, I need to de decide whether I should make Daria happy for... by... or if the current... by or if... what? Okay. No. You can be upset. I don't care. Are you having an affair with... Better not be having an affair. <laughs> you know what I do with the spouses that cheat, right? Um, let's have him cure me. Marzaban Baruz enters, entered your chamber with an earthenware jar cradled in his arm and came to sit by your bed. He pulled a leech from the jar and gave it a most tender look before... Uh, carefully placing it on your face. Remain still, my lord. Better not disturb their feeding. And the leeching has uh, treated my syphilis a little bit. That actually just made me feel better. Ooh, smallpox. Uh, my other son is kind of not a very good character. He's willful. Okay, that's that cancels that out. So it can't be. I can actually. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. And my liege decided to go into hiding, or shut the gates, whatever. Oh shoot! Smallpox is really starting to ramp up, and I'm not my liege's. I'm not on my liege's council, so. I could increase my strength in my hospital a little bit. Why don't I do that, actually? I know I could spend it on um, my primary holdings and whatnot, but my son is of childhood age. I will try to get my son to be more gregarious. So he loses indolent, which is amazing. His indolent is the worst. Another tiny, tiny revolt. Come on. Vassals of Abbasid Empire, you can do better than that. Thankfully, the disease seems to have stopped right before reaching my, um, my primary holdings. Uh, yeah, you, you know what? You can be... You can be that. Oh shoot, do I? I think I already have a claim on Shiraz. Ah oh, shoot, I need, I'm an idiot. I need to move you to the other one. 
My inbred son requires a focus. Peasants of Dihistan are quite, quite far apart and straight out, uh, spread out. I'm sorry. Your spy master uh, suggests investing in a provincial messenger system so that they can communicate with their kin more easily. He claims that doing so would attract more peasants to the county. Sure. Let's do it. And you want me to be a be a counselor, but I don't want to catch smallpox. Even though I am really old and I should probably die soon. My bastard grandson is an, an amazing character, but. And the smallpox is starting to wane. Which is great. They've instituted or approved the institution of a ruler title revocation. Not good. For dangerous faction, bribe some of these ungrateful gits. That should go away. Concubines is dead. I think I know who I suspect. Wife, I think I know who I suspect. My, one of my children needs a uh, focus. Uh, sure. Smallpox is almost over. My wife is uh, adamant. She tries to make me appoint one of her male friends who might be more to her than I earlier suspected. Again, Steward, no! Male friends, wait. You mean my son? I'm fairly certain my son isn't having an affair with my wife. Although, I mean, we are Zoroastrian here, so that might, <laughs> might be the case. I sure hope not. Disease is finally gone. Sure has. Oh yeah, I need to. You know what? Let's, let's do it. I might die very soon, so it's gonna go. Go for it. And no doubt, my uh, stupid liege is probably going to traitor. Oh, were you the one that fought me? You tried to revoke my land? You got your ass handed to you? Was that you? Can I appoint better commanders? My master? No, my grandson. Mm, just in case something goes wrong, I do want to keep him around. Like in case my son doesn't have more, you know, non-bastardized sons. As he's growing older, I can see that Kamran could use some guidance in some of my more experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Kamran. No, not the syphilitic lunatic child. I don't want him to be the next heir. And as expected, he has called for round peace. This... I'm not going to be able to win this. Not at this state. I'm not even in his lands right now. Yeah, this, this isn't happening. I mean, the least I can do is just... Ah, oh, that's it. Oh, man. That's so annoying. Oh. That realm peace crap is so annoying. Who's attacking me? 
Hussein's host claymore. Well, Liege, deal with that. So he stops sieging my lands. He just declare a war on you because you're an idiot. I, I think I can actually declare war against my liege for the uh, lands to which I have claims for. But the issue with that is, I believe for that period I become independent. Meaning that the you know, surrounding Muslim countries could always come up and try to kick my ass. I didn't realize I was actually part of the Safford Empire. Or shot him, I should say. That is a terrifying number. Let's, let's develop some of my surrounding counties. Uh, I don't really need to deal with you, but I will. And my syphilitic insane son has... Uh, yeah, he's a tough soldier. Oh. Satrap Kamran has ascended to, the, uh, to heaven at age 78. He died of great pox, a shining example of diligence. His duty was never neglected. A godly man now. Kamran is with Zoroaster now. And I am now my son. Lovely. Except, I need to start pumping out babies. So I'm gonna choose family as my focus. I'm going to take in some concubines. Hmm. I have had an inbred son, which does concern me, so maybe I shouldn't take my sisters as my concubines. Well, let's do it anyways. I'll have a um, non-related person as a concubine as well. Yeah, sure. 28, 30. So when the 30-year-old one reaches an older age... Oh, shoot. So, um, you fear that the lands of uh, Marzaban and Gobad might become independent from your realm in the uncertain moment of your inheritance. Luckily, he has instead confirmed his loyalty by swearing fealty to you. And the same with whatever this is. And this guy. No, okay. So what did we lose? We lose Kerman and Berjand. Just unfortunate. And we have a dangerous faction. No doubt. Let's try to bribe you. Try to bribe you. I, that didn't make much of a difference. Bribe you. Didn't make much of a difference either. You know what? Why don't you actually revolt against me? That way I can crush your sorry asses. I will... Hmm. I don't think you're going to like me regardless of what I do here. So I'll make you my steward why do you hate me it's because you're ambitious and all that crap well you're a dumbass do I have a claim on Shiraz I don't think I do anymore I have a weak claim on Shiraz I don't know if that's gonna work out for me so I'm gonna uh, have to redo what my father did I can't torture my prisoners or... no let's leave her alone I'm not cruel I don't quite know why that would show up 
she's growing older, I can see Elham could use some of my guidance in my more experienced areas, the art of war. This is my chance to make an effort for the sake of her education, but what can I offer? I can become stressed and she can be brave. Uh, she can become wroth and I can become cruel. Or she can be whatever she is, because she's studying for stewardship, not martial. So it doesn't really matter. I should pick an ambition. I will crew an air. Oh. Crown focus is set to the capital, Mazandaran. And ex as expected, my council is discontent. Quivir, if this guy dies, his land becomes mine. Except I can't quite seem to. Oh. Oh no. What is happening? People, stop backing this plot. Okay, I've already bribed him. Bribed him. I have 11,000. Are you saying these guys have more than 11,000? Mezrad says his favorite toy is missing and he won't go to bed without it. I might have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. My half-brother. Ah, really? Sure. I don't care. And he's still mad at me. Come on, you chumps. I dare you. I dare you to rise up against me. See where it goes. I have 11,000 troops, primarily centered around Mazandaran. What do you guys have? After months of fights, the arguments and tears, my spouse suggested separate bedchambers. No, let us rekindle our love. And end your plot, whatever it may be. I'll give you money. Even though it's still kind of our money too. Okay, uh, more level reinforcement rates, which is lovely. Realm Peace will be over in 28 months. So a couple years. Let's build up the keep in Grugan. Come on, start your rebellion. I dare you. Someone became Midas touched. Who? Oh, my daughter. Oh, lovely. The concubine is pregnant, but I, that can't be right, can it? It's because I am paranoid. I've thought it over, and I cannot be the father of the concubine of my concubine's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. I trust your word. Why won't my inbred son die? My daughter might fancy me. Yeah, sure. Let's give her a good tussle. <laughs> Went to my daughter's chamber and gave her a good tumble. <laughs> That's hilarious. And your plot, please. I have a new heir. Because my... Inbred son has finally died. And if my character dies now, I'll play as my brother, who's an imbecile. So, out of the flying pan into the fire? Yeah, definitely. Come on. Start your war, come on. Do it. I dare you. Peasants of Dihistan are quite far apart and spread out. Your spy master suggests investing in a provincial messenger system so they can communicate with their kin more easily. He claims that doing so would attract more peasants to the county. Sure. I have a new daughter named Daria after my mother. And my daughter is sick. So yeah. He's worried about my newborn daughter. Daria is a feeble little thing even compared to other infants. Baru says she might not live to see her first birthday. 
do whatever you can to save her. Not that it really matters. While little Daria might still appears slightly weaker than other children, I swear she's much more energetic than she was a couple of weeks ago. She might not be out of the woods quite yet, but the worst has passed. Good. And you will study to be good martial character. People are plotting to kill my sister wife. Maybe I should have my imbecile brother killed just in case. And I can have new technology for our economy. So, yeah, let's go into castle infrastructure. That way I can build castle town upgrades. Get me more money. Lord de Persia have approved the institution of the regulated inheritance law. But um, I think that's it for, for now. Uh, we'll leave it off here and come back uh, again to bring back Zoroastrianism into Persia. So yeah, have a good morning.